Rachel, 2012 has been a massive year for, for women's sport and women's football in particular. Um, you marked the year by becoming the most capped England women's player of all time. That must be quite a proud achievement for you. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, to get 190, well, equal Jill's record and then break it and then, you know, go one step further. And hopefully in 2013 I can get some more, but you never know. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was mad. I didn't ever expect it, but it's fantastic to actually have done that. In 1997 you made your debut. Um, and here we are, what, 15 years later, and you're still playing for England. Did you ever think that you'd, you'd still be here? No. <laughs> um, no, I mean, like I said before, I didn't really ever sort of think that women played football and that women, you know, went out and played for England. I didn't think that there was an opportunity to do that. So to think that, you know, I had one cap in 1997 and then, uh, you know, still here today, still playing and, uh, you know, still achieving sort of great things. So, you know, fingers crossed I can keep going and, yeah, it's been, it's been mad. <laughs> From where it was to where it is now, how much has the game grown? It's massive the amount of people that are coming down and, and want to know about women's football and I think we need to keep pushing on and keep making sure on the players side of it that we're better prepared and we train harder and we want to succeed more and that the younger players coming through um, you know want to be better I mean yeah okay Jill Coulter had had that record for years I've now broken it but there should be someone out there that wants to break that record and, and hopefully you know it, it will get broken and that, that will be for us to achieve um, you know, show that women's football is, is moving on. Uh, just finally, Rachel, the FA uh, last week released its Game Changer. It's a five-point plan to, to keep improving the women's game over the next five years. Where do you hope to see the women's game in 2018? Um, you know, I'd, I'd love to think that we could have a game that was went professional again. I know I, I played professional at Fulham um, for three years and it was fantastic. I mean, it, it, it helped me so much in my career. Being able to, you know, train every day with a football is something we can't do now. Um, but, that, you know, if you're a professional footballer, you're able to do that and it does. It, it makes you a better football player. And I think for us to change and for us to compete with the bigger nations, I think we have to go that way.